In the previous video, we have considered vector equation of the line passing through the point A of x1, y1, z1 parallel to the given vector B. Now, let us consider Cartesian form of the same. For this, we need vector A equal to directed line segment OA. But coordinates of A are x1, y1, z1. Therefore, OA can be written as x1 i cap plus y1 j cap plus z1 k cap. Similarly, vector r is op but coordinates of p are x, y, z. Therefore, x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap. Along with this, vector b is equal to a i cap plus b j cap plus c k cap where a b c are the direction ratios of vector b. Substituting all these values in equation 1 we get vector r equal to x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap equal to vector a that is x1 i cap plus y1 j cap plus z1 k cap plus lambda times vector b vector b is a i cap plus b j cap plus c k cap if we simplify we'll get x1 plus lambda times a of i cap that means combining all i coefficients together similarly combine all j coefficients together so we'll get y1 plus lambda times b j cap also z1 plus lambda times c k cap left hand side will be x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap as we know that when the two vectors are equal, their i coefficients, j coefficients and k coefficients must be equal. Therefore, x equal to x1 plus lambda a. Lambda a is equal to x minus x1. So, lambda is equal to x minus x1 divided by a. Similarly, y is equal to y1 plus lambda b. So, lambda b is equal to y minus y1. Lambda is equal to y minus y1 by b. Similarly, z is equal to z1 plus lambda c z minus z1 equal to lambda c lambda is equal to z minus z1 by c combining all these together we'll get x minus x1 by a equal to y minus y1 by b equal to z minus z1 by c and this is cartesian equation of the line passing through the point and parallel to the given vector. 